Hey guys, just a quick video on uh, strut removal on a 2013 Dodge Charger SRT, I believe, uh, 3.6 liter VVT. Uh, if this is your model, um, showing you strut removal, I already have this side out, driver's passengers or driver's side out. Um, they're both the same, they're universal on each side, there is no left and right. Uh, they both come off the same, same bolt, same size of everything. I'll just show you everything I used here. Uh, ratchet, uh, wire brush, pry bar, breaker bar, 13 16 big socket, um, 13 16 box end, 18 mil socket, extension, ratchet, 10 mil box end, hammer, and of course my ratcheting, my power wrench. But, um, yeah and it comes off like that. You have to remove that ball joint or you could remove it there if you feel safe or if you don't want to get the ball joint off, you have to take off those two bolts and this will slide away and it'll give you room to push down on your uh, everything here on your hub and everything so that you could get the uh, strut out. But I just take off the ball joint. If you don't feel safe, again, like I said about taking off the ball joint, take it off up there and it comes off. You're gonna to have to take off this, or unless you take a box end and get it in there and take that off. Those are 18 mils, I believe, and then there's one back here somewhere. Where is it now? Yeah, it's down there. If you look down there, right there. Get a box end in there. You remove those two bolts, and that'll just slide right out. Once you get those bolts out, as you can see, it's got the two bolt pieces, the nuts, I mean, on the other side. If you take the two nuts off on the other side, this will slide out. Those will slide out and that piece will come down. But if you want to take out the ball joint, in most cases, to get out a ball joint, you just remove the nut like that, which is an 18 mil on this one. You just remove the nut and then I just give it a few smacks here because there's weight on this falling already. I have it up on jack stands. As you can see, be safe as well. Sorry for not mentioning to be safe. Put on your e-brake, jack stands and everything. Don't just use a jack. But anyway, with the weight of that on there, with it floating in the air, I just gave that a few smacks and try not to wreck the threads. Try not to wreck the threads on it. Uh, if I do, I usually just ground it out. This is how I do it. A lot of guys will use a ball joint separator or they'll hit it here while they're pulling them apart with something, putting, putting a pry bar in there and pushing up on that, pushing down on this and hit this. Give it a few smacks. It'll just drop right out. In my case, I just hit it here. I don't smack it too hard. I just give it a few hits and it'll come out, usually most of the time. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy, but in this case it was pretty easy. I didn't wreck no threads or nothing. And that's how I do it. But anyway, this is everything I used. And I'll show you on the other side, there's one bolt there and one bolt there. That's this one right here. And on one side it's an 18 mil. Oh no, not that's not the bolt. That, that bolt's for something else. Or no, that is the bolt, sorry. That's the bolt that goes on there. I'll show you on the other side. It just goes through like that. And that's an 18 mil. As you can see, the nut is welded onto the strut itself. And I'll go to the other side and show you how I did that. So, top ones are 13 mil. There's three of them. There's a little cap that's on there. It sits like that. You just pop that off. 13 mils, those come off last. Don't, don't take those off till last. I usually do it like that anyway. If you look here, yeah, I'm gonna go with an 18 mil here, pop this off, and I'm just gonna give it a few smacks here after I get the bolt out, or I'll hit it here while I'm pulling apart, and try not to wreck this rubber if you're saving the ball joint, if the ball joint is still good. Or like I said, you take it off up there and there, and this whole piece will slide right out. And this will drop down, allowing you to get the strut out. But anyway, you take off the uh, sway bar link bolt, which is right there, which is a 13 16 or a 19, I believe. And then a 10 mil end on it. And you need two box ends to get that. I broke it with the uh, socket first, 
just to get it loose. And then I sprayed it down and cleaned it off with a wire brush really good so I could get that bolt out. And then try not to break it, try not to strip anything. If it's not going to come off really easy, you're going to have to cut it out and change that sway bar link. This is a good time to do it too. They're not too expensive. Change the sway bar link and the bushing right there on your sway bar. Smart to do that if you're doing your struts. But in this case, I'm saving them because they're still good. So I'm able to get off my nut and bolt, my bolt there, my nut, I mean, and then uh, it comes off. I usually get them off pretty easy. And once you get that off, you go after that, which is an 18 mil. And like I said, the nut on the other side, on the other side over here, is welded on to the strut itself. So you just have to take it off here. Again, spray it down with lubric lubricant and uh, clean it off a bit. And then take an 18 mil here. Turns left to loose and then pull that bolt right out. And then this whole piece will loosen up. Your strut will be loose there. Once you get that out and pull it out and drop it down your strut will be hanging there you take off your 13 mils and your strut will pop out you'll just have to push down on this to separate those two to separate it from here to here you just push down on this and then your strut will and you'll move it to the side to your to, your, to the rear or to the back here and then remove those bolts and your strut will pop out and then you put it back in reverse same thing as you did. That's on a 2013 Dodge Charger. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.